Hello friends, in this video, I will be explaining Kruskal's algorithm. So this algorithm is used to find minimum cost spanning tree of a graph. In my previous videos, I have already explained Prim's algorithm. That was also an algorithm that helps to find the vertex having minimum key value and using priority queue data structure, we were extracting the minimum vertex and we were finding the minimum cost spanning tree. So this is different approach or different algorithm to find the minimum cost spanning tree. The prerequisites for this video is to understand the concept of disjoint set data structure because th that data structure is very helpful to detect the cycle in a graph in logarithmic time. So in my previous video, I have already explained all the concepts that are required in order to understand the implementation of Kruskal's algorithm, I have explained the basics of disjoint set and find and union operations which are there in disjoint set data structure and moreover the optimization of those operations in my previous videos. So if you have not seen, I recommend you to see that video first because we are going to use that concept in order to implement Kruskal's algorithm. So Basically, as we know that minimum spanning tree means like a tree or a subset of a graph having n vertices. Suppose in this graph there are six vertices available. So the spanning tree will also have six vertices, but it will have five edges. Okay, it will have five edges. So if in general, if we say that minimum spanning tree is nothing but a subset of graph having n vertices and n minus 1 edges that is minimum number of possible edges connecting all the vertices. So in each edge there is a weight or the value associated with it. So there are various applications of minimum cost spanning tree. Already I have explained server to server connections if we want to do then we need to find the minimum number of connections required to connect all the servers moreover in uh, city networks in telephone lines constructions basically minimum cost spanning tree concept is used so the first step is to sort the edges as per weight so as we know that to each edge there is a weight or there is a value associated with it which can be either distance, which can be either cost or any other values. So first of all, the first step is to use, use sort. Okay. So sorting algorithm, there are many sorting algorithms like merge, bubble, etc. So we can use that algorithms which take minimum time. Okay. So I've already sorted the edges having minimum weight in increasing order. So if we see that edge between 6 and 7 like the vertex 6 and 7 is 1 so its weight is 1 weight is 1 therefore it will be first likewise in ascending order I have arranged it okay now next step will be to iterate till n minus 1 so as we know that if there are n vertices there will be n minus 1 edges so out of these edge available from this we need to pick n minus 1 edges and we need to keep in mind that the weight associated to that edge will be minimum order okay so that's why i have sorted it so we need to iterate till n minus 1 and while iterating each edge we need to perform union and find operations so that operations are associated with disjoint set data structure so the use of this is to detect cycle as we know that in case of spanning tree we need to select the edges having minimum weight plus we need to take care that on selecting edges it does not form any cycle so in order to detect cycle we can use find an op union operations of disjoint set data structure okay suppose find function is there the role of find function is to find the representative of the group and role of union function is to join the data in a group okay so suppose first the after, uh, suppose like on iterating edges we got 6 and 7 
so we will perform find of 6 and find of 7 so find of 6 will give me the representative of the group in which 6 is there find of 7 will also give me the representative of the group in which data or vertex 7 is there so initially all the data or all the vertex represent itself so it will return me 6 it will return 7 so if these are different if the representative values are different it means that there is no cycle okay if the representative values are different it means that there is no cycle and we can have this edge between vertex 6 and 7 in our minimum cost spanning tree so what we will do is that we will make a group we will perform union operation so union operation will make a group like 6 and 7 okay next next is 2 and 8 so representative of 2 is 2 representative of 8 is 8 it means both the representative values are different if it is different then we need to take this edge in our minimum cost spanning tree we need to take this weight in our minimum cost spanning tree and we need to make a group so i'll make a group for 2 and 8 so 2 comma 8 will be a group and i will take this edge so i have already taken the edge 6 and 7 means the edge connecting vertex 6 and 7 having weight 1 and 2 and 8 okay now next is 0 and 1 representative of 0 is 0 representative of 1 is 1 because they are single vertex and they are not in any other group so if the representatives are different i will perform union operation and i will take this edge in our minimum cost spanning tree so now 0 comma 1 have formed a group okay now next is 6 and 8 so representative of 6 representative of this group is 6 suppose it can be any value either 6 or 7 but this is a group next representative of vertex 8 is this so it means that the representative values of both the groups are different if it is different then i need to include this edge in our minimum cost spanning tree and then i need to perform union operation so i will include this edge and i will perform union operation on both of this group and will make a single group it will make a single group so now the vertex 6 7 2 and 8 are in single group and 0 comma 1 are in different single group okay now next is means i will accept this edge remember i need to iterate this edge till n minus 1 so right n minus 1 means total n is 6 so 6 minus 1 is 5 so i have already completed 1 2 3 4 okay now next is 7 and 8 representative of 7 is the representative value of this group representative of vertex 8 is also the representative value of this group it means that both the representative values are same it indicates that 7 and 8 lies in same group so if it lies in same group if the representative value is same it means that there is a cycle so if there is a cycle we need to avoid that edge which is making the cycle so edge connecting vertex 7 and 8 is making the cycle it means that i will not include this in my mst okay I will not include this now next is 0 and 7 so representative of vertex 0 is this group representative of vertex 7 is this group both have different representatives if both have different representatives it means that i will perform union operation on vertex 0 and 7 and i will include this in my minimum cost spanning tree it means i will include this edge so i have iterated all the edges like i have iterated n minus 1 edges so the value is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 will be the minimum cost of the spanning tree so it's like 14 18 20 21 minimum cost of the spanning tree and the edges which are there in the spanning tree are 6 and 7 so 6 7 2 and 8 2 and 8 0 and 1 okay 0 and 1 6 and 8 6 and 8 and 0 and 7 so in the graph the blue line edge represents the edges which will be there in minimum cost spanning tree so finally it one two eight six seven and it will have minimum cost 
weight. So if we add this, we will get minimum cost weight. So the answer is 21. Okay, 6 plus 2, 8, 16, 20 and 21. So by this way, we can easily implement Kruskal's algorithm. First, we need to sort the edges in terms of increasing order of their weight. Then we need to iterate till n minus 1 because in spanning tree if there are n vertices there will be n minus 1 edges. After that we need to use disjoint set data structure operations that is find and union. Either we can uh, implement simple find and union operations or we can use union by rank or find by path compression in order to optimize the implementation. So this disjoint set data structure the application is for detecting cycle and for implementing Kruskal's algorithm okay so if we see the algorithm it's quite simple so this is the algorithm the pseudo code which i will use to implement kruskal's algorithm so i have created disjoint set data structure operations that is find and union it is used to return the representative value of the group and it is used to merge x and y in a group okay so this is my minimum spanning tree function which I have created. So there is a for loop. The role of this for loop is to iterate till n minus 1. So already like I will use inbuilt sort algorithm of C++ and this sort algorithm is nothing but n log n operates n log n time complexity for this sort algorithm inbuilt sort algorithm. So this is basically the intro sort. Intro sort means the combination of heap, insertion and quick sort. Okay. By default, it's already there in C++ template. So I'm going to use this sort in order to sort all the edges as per their increasing order of their weight. So after performing that sorting algorithm, I'll have this. Now by using for loop, I will iterate up to n minus one. So if there are six vertex, so there will be five edges, one, two, three, four, five. So basically I'm going to iterate first five or it can be like more depending on if there is a cycle or not. Okay. Now the first is six comma six and seven. So you will have six and we will have seven. I will find a representative that is U representative and V representative. So if the representative value is different, if it is different, it means that I will include the weight in my answer. I will include the weight. So I will include this value one in minimum cost. So suppose representative of U is X and representative of V is X. It means the representative are same. If the representative are same, then it means that there is a cycle. But if the representative are different, it means that there is no cycle. Okay, so if the representative are different, I will include the weight of the vertex joining the edge and I will perform union operation of this. Okay, if the representatives are different. So 6 and 7, representative is 6 and for 7 it's 7. So I will make a set having 6 and 7 in a group and I will include this one. So representative of 2 is 2, representative of 8 is 8. So I'll include this and I'll perform union operation on 2 and 8. Okay, so like this, I will solve and implement Kruskal's algorithm. So if the representatives of U and representative of V is same, it means that there is a cycle. They are lying in the same group. There is a cycle. If the representative of U and representative of V are different, means that we need to include the edge connecting u and v and then we need to perform union operation in order to make both u vertex and v vertex in a single group. So if we see the time complexity, sort is used to sort edges. So its time complexity is e log e. Okay, e log e. This joint set data structure basically takes logarithmic time. So uh, we are using this for loop for approximately v datas, v number of datas and for each v like we are performing this joint set operations that is union and find. So basically both of union and find takes logarithmic time complexity. So it will be v log v. 
So if we add v log v and e log e, it's ultimately the time complexity will be uh, e log e, or it can be v log e, etc. Okay, because we can represent e in terms of v, we can represent v in terms of e. So the time complexity for Kruskal's algorithm will be like e log e. Okay, e log e, total number of edges. So this is all about implementation of Kruskal's algorithm using disjoint set data structure.